In the words of the immortal Fred Jones, Well gang, looks like we've got another mystery on our hands. Layton Brothers Mystery Room is a mobile puzzle adventure spin-off of the popular Professor Layton series. First released in 2012, players assumed the role of Detective Constable Lucy Baker, a gumshoe detective that was assigned to Scotland Yard's Mystery Room. Upon arriving, she is immediately greeted with her first case from Alfendi Layton, and the rest from there is history. Some gameplay elements include being able to recreate the crime scene and explore everything in depth. The game will automatically take stock of everything that the player taps on. It also includes intense questioning sessions aimed at cracking the stone hearts of the suspects in order to glean new information or successfully accuse them of the crime. Layton is with you every step of the way, keeping you sharp by asking Lucy questions that will further add to the proof. The soundtrack was composed by Takeshi Yanagwa and Yuko Koshiro. For the most part, it contains jazz and jazz fusion tracks that tend to be on the groovier side, with the exception of the questioning scenes with music that is a little more intense. The name of the track is called Investigating the Crime Scene, and our focus is going to be all about the pocket on today's episode of Stick to Games. Hey everybody, Kenny Jr. here and welcome back to Stick to Games. Today's episode is going to be all about developing the pocket. If you're not familiar with that term, I'll do my best to explain. The first thing you need to understand is that it's not just a technique, it's more like a feeling. The pocket can be best described as a deep groove that a drummer has almost an intimate connection with. From there, the drummer must lock in that same groove with his rhythm section, and from then on it becomes their responsibility as a whole to keep everybody else in the ensemble right where they're at. I'm sorry if that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but if we dig in, I think I may be able to show you better than I can tell you. As you can hear, the drum part is not very complicated at all. We have this cool syncopated snare drum with very sparse kick drum and our hi-hat keeping time with consistent eighth notes. It's the aura around this simple notation that puts pressure on us to be inside of that pocket. Let's walk through what we are looking at very slowly. We have a couple of fills included here for concept. We're going to take these ideas and use them as inspiration for coming up with our own little embellishments and flavor enhancements. Here's the fill from Measure 13. And here is Measure 13 with a little bit of a flavor enhancer. Here's the fill from measure 17. And the following are fills that are found a little bit later on in the song. Let's call this one measure 18. And here's 18 with a little bit of a flavor enhancement. This next one comes much later during the solo section, but for now let's call it measure 19. Now here are some final tricks to get you going and understanding your place in all of this. First thing, take advantage of the long setup winds and strings give us to lock in what the groove will be in our heads. Then when you come in, keep the groove bare bones simple until you start to feel a little something extra somewhere in the middle. Once you get to that point, let's start using those ideas we just practiced as fuel for pushing our groove agenda. I'm not really concerned with playing this one as is. Lock your groove in and just feel around for the rest. I won't be showing the music to this one to help us focus on that pocket. I've said about all I think I can say, 
So let's just try to put this in the practice. Let's take it from the top. And that'll just about do it for us today. Thanks again for checking out the video. And if you liked it, be sure to like the video on YouTube and also subscribe to my channel so you can check out future videos and past videos too. Be sure to follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram for sure. Be sure to check out my website where you can find transcriptions of all of these tracks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I hope to see you again really soon. Till next time. <laughs>